Hey Reverb Nation, Sean at Galaxy Guitars. How y'all doing? Hope it's good. What we have here is a Kramer Pacer. Very, very nice guitar. Eight pound guitar. Um, at Galaxy, every guitar that we get into the shop, um, without exception, we tune it up. And a tune up to a lot of people is just change the string, set the intonation, blah. Uh, we do a lot more. We take all these nuts on the machine heads, tighten them up, tighten up all the screws in the back of it, um, oil the fretboard, buff the frets. Uh, the frets in this, by the way, are excellent. Nice meaty frets with uh, no divots in them at all. Um, balance the pickup heights. Make sure that this jack is always tight. Uh, it's been tightened on this one and all the controls as well. Wax the guitar and uh, use a Gibson treatment on the uh, fretboard and clean the electronics. Just a lot of stuff, right? So that when you get your guitar, you don't have to worry about little things like that. It's got brand new strings on it. Gibson bright wires, uh, 10 to 46. So I see a lot of... Uh, demos on on reverb and a lot of them are like they're comping like mad and showing their their, their awesome skills and everything and it really means nothing uh, what you're trying to get out of the the video is does the thing work does it function like it's gonna because i'm gonna play it the way i want to play it and you're gonna play it the way you want to play it right so style and whatever you know it's kind of a turn off in a way to me so uh, the purpose of this is just to show you that all the frets are clear, don't buzz, the electronics work, hit a couple of chords, show you the tonal differences between the pickups, and that'll be it. So, uh, and I'm doing this through a Fender Deuce. Uh, if you know what a Fender Quad is, someone took a chainsaw to this and cut it in half, and so it's a Fender Deuce. It's a really cool guitar from the 70s, or amp from the 70s. Uh, so anyhow, here's what it sounds like acoustically. And here's uh, the neck pickup. Nice warm tone. Here's the bridge pickup. I expect a lot more bite. And that's not disappointing. It's doing exactly what it should. And here's uh, in between the two. Very nice. Volume functions fine, as you can see, there's no cracks in the pot. Nice and smooth taper on it, right? No kind of noises. And same with the tone control, functions fine. I don't know who uses that. I mean, tone is good if you want to sit back in a mix somewhere and not be the whole show. I guess that's the only way I ever use it. And it's master, so it works on the bridge as a neck. Same with the volume. So here's the frets on it. Try that again. Try, try again. I never play up here. I'm not one of these guys, right? So, anyhow, the frets are all clean up here. So, tonally, here's the neck pickup at. I find if you just roll the volume off slightly, it cleans it up a little bit. So, here's the neck pickup. Has that kind of bell-like tone to it. And here's the bridge pickup. Yeah, it's got a really, really good uh, 
uh, tone to it. Nice and playable, eight pounds, nice and light. They say that's a perfect weight for a guitar. Love the retro head, headstock on it. And uh, it's got a few chips in the body, right? You know, you're gonna get those. There's one there, a couple there. You know, they're around for sure if you look at them, but you know, they charge more for that now. They call it relicking. So anyhow, it's a, it's a great guitar. <laughs> Tremolo too. All right. See y'all later.